Okay, so today we will uh, learn about uh, method of variation of parameters and this method is used for second order linear non-homogeneous differential equations. So we find general solution of second order linear non-homogeneous differential equation it can also be extended for from second order it can also be extended for the third order and so on so here in this section we will look at second order differential equations so consider y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equal to r where p q and r are functions of x are functions of x so what we will do here is for the time being for this section we will take p and q to be constants and only take r as a function of x in particular we will take p and q as constants and r as function of x okay so now what is an example of this i mean to say i will look at differential equations something like d2y by dx square plus say 3dy by dx plus 2y is equal to say tan x okay so such problems we will be looking at now this differential equation you cannot solve by the earlier shortcut methods because in the shortcut methods you know there is no facility for person like tan x shortcut method has only some three to four five types e raised to ax sine cos sine hyperbolic then you have x square x cube and e raised to ax v and x into v so this tan x does not fall in any of those methods so we we are going to use this method which is variation of parameters okay so let us see what is that method so method so we will consider the original differential equation y double dash plus p which is a constant y dash plus q which is again a constant y equal to r which is a function of x as equation 1 the associated homogeneous equation is y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equal to zero this i will call equation two 
remember our main aim is to find the solution of this particular equation okay it's supposed to solve this particular equation but for the time being we are looking at the associate it's same like your auxiliary equation for auxiliary equation you make the right hand side to be equal to zero now what we will do is we will find two solutions of this particular equation we you remember we write c1 times first function plus c2 times second function because the auxiliary equation will be a quadratic equation so you will get two roots right the two roots will be uh, say m1 and m2 whether they are real or complex if they are real you will get e power m1 x and e power m2 x if they are complex you will get e, e raised to alpha x cos beta x and second is e raised to alpha x sin beta x correct and the solution is general the complementary solution is a combination of these two solutions so this i'm calling y1 this i'm calling y2 here also this i'm calling y1 and this i'm calling y2 so this will become c1 y1 plus c2 y2 okay so these two solutions what we are getting we will call them y1 and y2 and those y1 and y2 are the solutions of the homogeneous differential equations okay so the solutions of this equation 2 will be called y1 y2 and they are always linearly independent okay now you all know what is the meaning of linearly independent means c1 y1 plus c2 y2 if i take it to be zero linearly independence means c1 and c2 must turn up to be equal to zero so they are linearly independent they are always linearly independent so now this c1 and so therefore the solution the complementary solution will become c1 y1 plus c2 y2 where what are c1 and c2 c1 and c2 are constants okay these constants can be anything means if somebody gives me that sin x and cos x are two solutions then i can say that 3 sin x plus 2 cos x is also solution i can say 4 sin x plus 5 cos x is also solution because they are any constants they are arbitrary constants okay so what we will do is we will now convert these constants into parameters parameter mean they will be depending on x now here c1 and c2 do not depend on x who depends on x c1 y1 depends on x y2 also depends on x but c1 and c2 do not contain x there are some constants they do not change but what we will do is we will even now convert these constants into parameters means what means i will do c1 will be also function fx and c2 also i will make a function of x that is why it is called i'm going to vary the parameters that's why this method is called variation of parameters okay so we assume that the general 
solution of equation 1 equation 1 means which equation 1 equation 1 was the non homogeneous equation which has rx on the right hand side okay so we want to find the solution of that equation so what do we assume we assume that its solution is of the form is of the form we assume okay y equal to ax y1 plus bx y2 who are y1 and y2 y1 and y2 are those linearly dependent solutions which you have obtained above from the complementary function and those constants now have been replaced by these parameters a and b so a and b are the parameters so they will change with respect to x here c1 and c2 will not change with respect to even if x changes c1 and c2 will remain constant but now what here have what will happen here if x changes a will also change y1 will also change b will also change y2 or y2 will also because they are already functions of y1 and y2 are functions of x and therefore y is also function of x so if a y1 b y2 start changing eventually y will also start changing the values right so this is my y let me now omit this x and and just write in simple terms that is y equal to to make it look simple a y1 plus b y2 now all of us know that a b y1 y2 y all depend on x all of them depend on x now let me find the derivative of this function this is a derivative so differentiate y dash is equal to differentiate with respect to x okay and everybody is a uh, function of x so here i will use product rule here also i will use product rule what is the product rule for the first term a as it is derivative of y1 plus derivative a of a times y1 plus what is the derivative of the second term b as it is derivative of y2 plus derivative of b and y2 as it is now here we will do one tricky step so let me make a mark here for simplicity for simplicity now see y dash has how many terms y dash is having how many terms four terms i want to make it small so for simplicity what i will do is i will assume that this term is zero this plus this is equal to zero i will remove them from y dash so for simplicity we assume a dash y1 plus b dash y2 is equal to 0 if their addition is equal to 0 therefore what happens therefore y dash will become small now y dash simplifies to y dash is equal to a y1 dash plus b y2 dash so this becomes a simple expression for y dash y because these two terms have gone away by our assumption so let us call this assumption let us call this let me label the steps again this is uh, equation one and two is this let me call this is three let me call this is four 
okay now i will differentiate the above equation now so again differentiate differentiate why am i differentiating why am i differentiating because what was equation one equation one was y double dash so that is the reason i'm different taking two derivatives so differentiating with respect to x again i will have your product rule for the first term what is the product rule for the first term a y1 double dash plus a dash y1 dash plus second term what is the product rule b into the derivative of y2 dash which is y2 double dash plus b dash into y2 dash so y double dash has four terms now here i will say this is equation five okay now what we will do is we will substitute i should have called this this i should have called five and let me call this six now we will substitute equation six means this equation five means y dash and equation where is y three in the original differential equation what is the original differential equation the original equation is one in this okay you have y which is a y1 b y2 y dash is a y dash a y1 dash b y2 dash and y double dash is this in equation three in equation one sorry what is equation one that is that is y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equal to r x becomes y double dash is a y1 double dash plus a dash y1 dash plus b y2 double dash plus b dash y2 dash plus p what is y dash y dash you have written above in equation 5 just check it is a y1 dash plus b y2 dash okay just a minute huh? plus q what is y y was equation 3 see in equation 3 it is a y1 plus b y2 equal to r of x okay once i'm done with this now i will collect the coif i will collect terms collect terms of a b means a times y1 dash oh sorry y1 double dash plus p y1 dash plus q y1 these are the terms of a plus what are the terms of b capital b y2 double dash plus p y2 dash plus q y2 plus 
now there are some terms which are never in uh, which do not contain a and b they contain a dash b dash so let us collect them together in one bracket what are those terms a dash y1 dash plus b dash y2 dash okay all the terms are over and this is equal to what this is equal to rx now this coefficient of a this person y1 dash y1 double dash plus this and this coefficient of b i want to remove them from the picture why they will get removed from the picture i mean i mean to i mean to say that i want to put a zero instead of them so that this everything will go away and i will get what i will get this term will go away this term will go away and i will just get a dash y1 dash plus b dash y2 dash is equal to rx i will just get this now why this and this will become zero what was y1 and y2 let us go up and see who is y1 and y2 y1 and y2 where do they come in first in the picture yes what are y1 and y2 the solutions of equation 2 are y1 and y2 so solutions of equation 2 are y1 and y2 means y1 and y2 will satisfy this equation 2 means y1 double dash plus p y1 dash plus q y1 is equal to 0 y2 is also solution of this equation means y2 double dash plus p y2 dash plus q y2 is also equal to 0 so y1 and y2 being the solutions of this equation 2 obviously the terms coming below in the brackets will be equal to 0 so let us just write a small note over there why this is 0 since y1 and y2 are solutions of equation 2 so they satisfy equation 2 that is the reason they have become zero and therefore I get this particular equation a y1 dash plus b dash y2 dash is equal to just rx okay so this this equation I will now call it as equation number seven we're getting lots of equations but when we do problems our life is going to be very easy now consider the equation that we had assumed we had assumed some very nasty assumption was made in the above steps where is that notable assumption see this a dash y1 plus b dash y2 equal to zero this we have assumed with, with, without knowing why we are assuming it right so this is equation four and equation number latest equation is seven consider equation 4 and 7 I'm writing them one below the other what is fourth equation a dash y1 plus b dash y2 is equal to 0 and what is the other equation other equation is a dash seventh equation is this a dash y1 dash plus b dash y2 dash is equal to r of x now this looks like a system of equations is a system of equations which we can actually solve simultaneously which can be solved simultaneously for whom 
simultaneously where if i solve these two equations simultaneously which quantities will i be able to find i will be able to find what i will be able to find a dash see a dash and b dash are in both equations these are the tip if these are different people y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash so we can when i solve these two equations simultaneously i will get the answers for e dash and b dash how will i solve them simultaneously first equation i will multiply by y1 dash and second equation i will multiply by y1 so what will i get after i do that so I will get a dash y1 y1 dash plus b dash y1 dash y2 equal to 0 and second equation will become a dash y1 y1 dash plus b dash y1 y2 dash equal to 0 so when I subtract the two equations what will happen this particular cancel will get cancelled and I will get B dash into Y1 dash Y2 minus Y1 Y2 dash equal to sorry this is, this is Rx into uh, Rx into Y1 correct so this is Rx into Y1 and therefore what will I get I will get B dash is equal to Rx Y1 upon y1 y y1 dash y2 minus y1 y2 dash and now uh, this is the expression of b dash you should really ask me the question that is the denominator uh, equal to zero or not equal to zero and that we don't know right now okay let us see what to how to handle it uh, but if I want to find now, if I want to find A, so I got the value of B dash. On similar lines, if I multiply the first equation by, if I multiply the first equation by Y1, sorry, if I multiply this now, instead of multiplying by Y1 dash, if I multiply it by Y2 dash, and then here I will multiply by Y2, then what will I get? Then. This a dash y1 y2 dash plus b dash y2 y2 dash equal to 0 and second equation will become a dash y1 dash y2 plus b dash y2 y2 dash equal to rx y2 and therefore what will happen is if I subtract them Again, this and this gets cancelled now, and I will get a dash into y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 is equal to minus rx y2, and therefore, what is the expression for a dash? I'm going to get a dash will be equal to minus rx y2 upon y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 so this is the expression for ax a dash x i'm sorry and this is the expression for b dash x now what do we know about y1 and y2 so, but but y1 and y2 are linearly independent solutions of the associated homogeneous differential equation right now since they are linearly independent what we know from our first lecture that if first or second lecture 
that if two solutions are linearly independent, if two functions are linearly independent, then their Ronskin is zero. Therefore, their Ronskin is not zero. So what is the Ronskin? Ronskin of y1 and y2 was determinant of y1, y2, y1 dash, y2 dash, which is equal to y1, y2 dash minus y2, y1 dash. This is the Ronskin of y1 and y2. So using this, my formula for a dash becomes, what is a dash equal to? Let me see what is a dash equal to. a dash is minus rx y2 upon this particular denominator is the wrong skin. So a dash is equal to minus rx y2 upon the wrong skin. What is b dash equal to? I did that for b dash. b dash was also here. I forgot the minus sign. So let me put the minus sign here. When I subtracted, this got a minus negative sign. What is b dash equal to? Now b dash is minus rx sub y1. And this particular person is not the wrong skit, but it is the negative of the wrong skin it is minus w which is y phi one dash y2 minus y1 y2 dash it is drawn skin with a negative sign so b dash will become minus rx y1 upon negative of the wrong skin so i got formula for a dash ax is integration of because this is a derivative integration of minus rx y2 upon ron skin w means the ron skin and what is b what is the formula for b this negative negative will get cancelled and now it's integration of rx y1 upon the ron skin so i got the solutions I got ax and bx after this integration and therefore the general solution y equal to ax y1x plus bx y to x can be obtained because once I get a and b from here I will just substitute them in this particular expression can be obtained so this is the method of variation of parameters now let us take a problem question Solve by variation of parameters. Which is also called VOP. D2Y by DX square plus Y equal to cosec X. solution this is d square plus 1 y equal to cosec x so the auxiliary equation fm equal to m square plus 1 is equal to 0 so m is equal to plus minus i so the complementary function yc will be equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x Okay, so once I get this uh, complementary function, now I will get 
what is y1 here the first solution y1 is cos 6 and the second y2 is how much y2 is sin x let us find the ron skin of the two functions the ron skin of y1 y2 is equal to y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash which is equal to cos x sin x derivative is minus sin x cos x which is equal to cos square x minus minus sin square x which is cos square x plus sin square x and the round scale will become 1 so w is 1 formula for a ax what is ax equal to x is integration with a negative sign correct rx y2 w what is rx what is rx rx was right hand side okay who is rx in my problem the rx is cosec x who is y2 in my problem y2 is sin x minus rx y2 dx upon w which is equal to minus integration cosec x into sin x upon 1 dx and cosec x and sin x will become 1 which is minus dx which is minus x so ax is just coming out to be how much ax is minus x and what is bx bx is equal to integration rx y1 upon w w dx which is equal to cosec x into cos x upon 1 dx that x which is cosec x into cot what is cosec x into cos x it is cot x which is 1 upon sin x into cos x integration of cot x just log of sin x this is your bx and therefore the general solution y is equal to ax y1x plus bx y2x is equal to ax was how much ax was minus x y1x was how much y1 is your cos x plus bx is log sin x and y2 is how much y2 was a sin x this is y which is actually your particular integral and therefore the general equation see there is no c1 and c2 here right which is actually your particular integral and therefore the general solution let me write here yp therefore general solution y is yc plus yp which is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus x cos x plus log of sin x into sin x this becomes your complete solution which is your general solution by variation of parameters
d2y by dx square minus y is equal to 2 upon 1 plus e power x solution the differential equation is can be written in the form of d square minus 1 y equal to 2 upon 1 plus e power x so the auxiliary equation is fm equal to m square minus 1 equal to 0 so m is equal to plus minus 1 so the complementary function will be c1 e power x 1x plus c2 e power minus 1x so here y1 is e power x and y2 is e power minus x what is the run skin of y1 y2 y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash which is e raised to x e raised to minus x derivative is e raised to x minus e raised to minus x which is e raised to x into e raised to minus x with the minus sign is minus 1 minus e raised to x into e raised to minus x which is minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so the ron skin is minus 2 note that ron skin is never equal to 0 so what is cx equal to minus integration rx y2 divided by the ron skin dx which is half ron skin with the minus sign will come outside rx rx is 2 upon 1 plus e raised to x okay ron skin is minus 2 i'll repeat here okay this minus and this minus has cancelled what is uh, y2 y2 is e raised to minus x correct now here you may ask a question that while writing the complementary function okay and after writing the complementary function i took this as y2 and i took this as y1 so what will happen if i change the y1 and y2 because it may happen that i may call e raised to minus x as my y1 and i may call e raised to x as my y2 so where will the change will come the your cron skin will may get change but what will happen is eventually your ax will get interchanged with bx and bx will get interchanged with x finally everything will at the last step in when you write the particular solution that will be the same okay so that particular solution will always remain the same. What is this now? Let us solve this the particular type of integral. So this 2 and 2 will also get uh, cancelled. And which is integration of 1 upon e raised to x into 1 plus e raised to x dx and i can basically see that this how will i solve this integration it is essentially looking in the form of 1 upon alpha into alpha plus 1 which is a upon alpha plus b upon alpha plus 1 which i want to do by using my partial fraction techniques okay Right, so if I put alpha, if I put alpha equal to zero, I will get a equal to one. And if I put alpha equal to minus one, I will get b equal to minus one. So a is one and b is minus one. So this is basically one upon alpha minus one upon alpha plus one. Okay, this partial fractions I'm going to use. I hope you understand how you find these a and b's. 
which is equal to integration 1 upon e power x minus 1 over e power x plus 1 dx which is equal to integration e power minus x minus integration e power minus x. I'm adjusting this integration now. Let me write the original step 1 upon e power x plus 1 dx. This integration can be written as e power x e power minus x over minus 1. And how would I do this integration? I will multiply the numerator and denominator by e power minus x. Numerator and denominator are multiplied by e power minus x. So this will become 1 plus e power minus x. And now I see that the above person is the derivative of the first person. So it is of the form f dash upon f. So which we know is log of f. So this is minus e power minus x minus log of the function who is the denominator 1 plus e power minus x. So this becomes your ax. So what about your bx? When you go for bx of rx into y1x upon uh, w which is ron skin and ron skin was minus 2 so minus 2 now what is rx rx is 2 upon 1 plus c power x and uh, what is the what was y1 uh, y1 was e raised to x i think it was e raised to x so this and this gets cancelled so it is essentially with a minus sign integration of e raised to x upon 1 plus e raised to x dx again it is of the format f dash upon f which is log f so this will become minus of log of 1 plus c power x so this becomes your px and therefore your yp becomes ax y1x plus bx y2x which is equal to what is ax ax was uh, ax was minus e raised to minus x plus log 1 plus e raised to minus x into y1 y1 is e raised to x plus bx is minus log of 1 plus e raised to x into y1 was uh, y2 was e raised to minus x i hope i'm right huh? correct this is a yp which is uh, which can be simplified I mean, you can simplify this because this into this will become one okay so it's fine and therefore your general solution is y is equal to yc plus 5p can be obtained can be written which is m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 plus 2 equal to 0 so m is 1 and 2 and therefore you get complementary function is c1 e raised to 1x plus c2 e raised to 2x now you get the wrong skin is uh, y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash which is e raised to x e raised to 2x derivatives is e raised to x and 2 e raised to 2x and now we find the determinant so what is the e minus rx y2 upon w dx which is equal to minus rx what is rx rx is the right hand side sine of e raised to minus x y2 what was y2 y2 was e raised to 2x upon w w was e raised to 3x dx okay which is equal to minus integration this and this will become e raised to minus x sine of e raised to minus x dx and therefore you see e raised to minus x is coming around so i put e raised to minus x equal to t so minus e raised to minus x dx will become dt so this will become sine t 
and e raised to minus x with the minus sign and the dx will all just become dt okay so integral sign is minus cos minus cos t which is equal to minus cos of t was e raised to minus x so that is ax Let's see what is bx bx is integration rx y1 x upon w dx which is integration right hand side is sine e raised to minus x y1 is uh, e raised to x right e raised to x upon w is uh, e raised to 3x dx i hope i'm right it is integration this and this will become e raised to minus 2x sine e raised to minus x dx but you can see that it is e raised to minus x into e raised to minus x into sine e raised to minus x dx so i have e raised to minus x coming many times so i will put uh, e raised to minus x is t again so minus e raised to minus x dx will become dt and what is this, this integration will look like so this integration will look like this uh, this e raised to minus x and dx can be replaced by minus dt this e raised to minus x can be replaced by t and sine will become sine t sine of t so it is t times sine t the minus dt which is minus t sine t dt which is looking like u into v so i can use formula as this minus sign i'm writing outside what is the formula of u integration of u into v u integral v minus integral of multiplication of u dash integral v let's switch is minus u is t integral of sine is minus cos minus integral bracket product of derivative of u is 1 integral of v means integral of sine is again minus cos so that minus and minus will become plus cos t so this is minus sign minus t cos t and integral of cos is sine so it is t cos t minus sine t it was t t was uh, e raised to minus 6 cos e raised to minus 6 minus sine e raised to minus 6 so this is your bx therefore your yp now you know what is the yp ax y1x plus bx y2x we have obtained ax and bx above so substitute ax and bx what was y1 let me not substitute here let me just write ax into y1 was e raised to x plus bx into e raised to 2x we have ax and bx obtained above and therefore you get yp 
solve by variation of parameters t square plus 1 y equal to sec x so the solution is fm is equal to m square plus 1 equal to 0 this is the auxiliary equation so m is equal to plus minus i complex roots 0 plus minus i so the complementary function will be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x therefore your yp now sorry i'm going to calculate the runs before that let me write what is y1 here what is y1 y1 is cos 6 and y2 is sin x these are the two linearly independent solutions of the homogeneous differential equation and therefore what is your run skin if your run skin is y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash in the previous problems we have called calculated the run skin of such things and the run skin turns out to be one cos square x plus sin square x you get that combination in the above problems so ax is equal to minus integration rx y2 upon run skin dx which is minus rx is sec x and y2 is uh, y2 is sin x correct it is sin x dx which is integration 1 over cos x into sin x dx which is minus tan x we write it like this minus sin x upon cos x dx which is actually tan x okay and this looks like what this looks like f upon the derivative f dash cos and its derivative is what is f upon f dash integral f dash upon f sorry it is log f so it is log of cos x so this becomes cx what is bx bx is integration rx by 1x upon drawn skin but the run skin is 1 so there will be not a problem integration the right hand side is sec x into uh, the derivative uh, what is y1 x y1 is x i suppose it's cos x right and what is in what is sec x into cos x this is your bx so y p is a x into y one x plus p x into y two x, which is uh, log cos x. Into cos x plus x sin x. This becomes your y p. Therefore, you can write y is equal to y six plus y p two minus x. Okay, y one here, y one is e raised to x, and y two is e raised to minus x. So, what is your run skin? Run skin is y one, y two, y one dash, y two dash, which is e raised to x, e raised to minus x, e raised to x minus e raised to minus x which is minus e raised to minus one minus one that is minus one minus one should just become minus two so run skin is minus two what is cx ax is minus integration rx y2 upon run skin which is minus two so this will become half integration 
runs okay, uh, right hand side is uh, e raised to minus x sin e raised to minus x plus cos e raised to minus x into y2 it was y2 y2 is e raised to minus x dx okay and now you see there is all e raised to minus x floating around so you can simply put e raised to minus x equal to t and therefore minus e raised to minus x dx will become dt and this will become half integration this is minus dt so this minus sign let me pull out here and write minus dt like this and what is remaining in the square bracket this t sin t plus cos t okay what is integration of uh, t sin t we have already integrated t sin t in the above problem t cos t plus, plus sin t plus what is integral of cos integral of cos is sine so you have to get a sine t right so therefore what is your t you can simplify this if you want minus half e raised to minus x cos e raised to minus x plus two times sine of e raised to minus x so this will become your ax let us get on what is a bx bx is integration rx y1x upon drawn skin which is minus 2 so this will become minus half integration right hand side is uh, what is your right hand side right hand side is your e raised to minus x sine e raised to minus x plus cos uh, e raised to minus x into the y1 who was your y1 y1 was your e raised to x dx and uh, now you see that uh, what has happened over here now there is e raised to x also in the picture correct which is not a good sign but I can certainly look this up as into half integral uh, e raised to x into let me write this first this is cos e raised to minus x write it clearly cos e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus x sine e raised to minus x i have done nothing i have just shifted the terms one here and one here but what is this looking like now now this is looking like half e raised to x f plus f dash so this is your f and this is your the derivative of cos e raised to minus x is minus sine e raised to minus x into minus e raised to minus x and that minus and minus is cancelled so this is e raised to x f plus f dash is e raised to x f so it is half e raised to x f what who was your f this was your f so it is minus half e raised to x f is cos e raised to minus six so this becomes your bx and therefore don't forget to write yp is equal to ax y1 plus bx y2 which is jx y1 is e raised to x plus b into y2 is e raised to minus 6 substitute ax and bx this e raised to x may get cancelled with the ax and bx just simplify whatever you can if you can simplify otherwise just leave it as it is